everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel, Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you a five star TBR predictions wrap up. So, I recently ish, I think it was about three and a half months ago, posted a video with some TBR predictions, five star TBR predictions. This was my second lot of predictions um and i have read them all which i'm pretty happy with because when i did my first round of predictions it took me 11 months to get those three books read um, whereas this time it's only taken me three and a half months so i'm definitely moving through my tbr much more swiftly than i have been in previous years which is a good thing very much a good thing so let's jump straight in to the three books that i predicted were five star reads and talk about whether they were or not um, i'm going to go through these in order of like how I rated them from my lowest rated to my highest rated. So the first book was My Sister Rosa by Justine La Bellastia. This is a thriller novel about a character named Che who believes that his sister is a psychopath. I think it's a psychopath. I always forget whether it's a psychopath that he thinks that she is or if he thinks that she's a sociopath. But as I always say, it's one of the paths. Um, and he loves his sister and wants to protect her but he's also scared of what she is capable of um at the start of this novel they are relocating to new york city they move around quite a bit with their parents um and they're relocating to new york city and he's basically you know new place new beginning wants to stop her from doing anything that would put kind of their lives in new york in jeopardy even though he wants to move back to sydney where they're originally from anyway I ended up giving this 3.75 stars, so not a 5 star. This was my one that I was least confident in, though. I did enjoy this. A 3.75 star rating is a good rating. I thought that the character did a good job of writing from the perspective of a... The character? Did I just say the character? The author did a good job of writing from the perspective of a teenage boy. Um, I thought that she also did a really good job of creating, like, a like unsettled creepy kind of vibe in the story because you're never quite sure exactly like what Rosa is going to do and what she's capable of um but I don't have any like super big problems with it that I can recall it just I just didn't love it it just didn't hit that like you know really high mark for me but I did enjoy it like I said I gave this 3.75 stars uh the next book that I have is Written in Red by Anne Bishop. This is an adult urban fantasy series that is set in a world um, where there's lots of different paranormal kind of creatures. You've got werewolves, you've got people who can like turn into crows, people who can turn into bears, um, lots of different kind of shape-shifting creatures. There's some vampire type creatures, a lot of other types of creatures as well. And the main character, Meg, is a blood prophet. And a blood prophet is someone who, when their skin is cut, they see visions of the future, which is a very rare commodity. And she, at the beginning of the novel, has escaped from somewhere and takes refuge in a compound of others. Um, and that's basically the gist of the plot. I did really enjoy this. I ended up giving this four stars. This... Um, is a really like kind of slow moving novel but like in a good way it's like kind of a slow build up um i really enjoyed the characters in the world um of this book but of the series as a whole but it really is established really well in this book and i did like i say no big problems with this one again but i did i didn't like love it love it love it but i did really enjoy this i gave this a really strong four star rating then the final book that I predicted would be a five star in that video was Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I've read quite recently. So you may already know that I gave this four stars. So this is, of course, a classic that follows Jane Eyre, who is a orphan who becomes a governess. And it's basically about her, it's basically just about her life. Um, I enjoyed this. Like I said, there. I was spoiled for something that happens in this novel and I think I may have enjoyed this a little bit more if I didn't know what that was. I did like like the really like gothic vibes of this. Um, the character of Mr. Rochester I'm torn on because while I did very much ship Jane and Mr. Rochester, Mr. Rochester is kind of awful. He does some really shitty, 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 shitty things. Um, but then I'm a trash person because I did still really ship it. So 
there's that. Um, I really thought that I was going to love this. This has been like my most anticipated classic for like a really long time. There's a group of kind of like three or four classics that I've always been like really pumped to read. And this was like the main one. And I'm really glad that I have finally read it, but it just didn't quite hit those five star heights that I was really hoping that it would. Like I said, I did still enjoy this. It took me quite a while to get into the writing style of this as well. Like I said, I did really enjoy it, but it just didn't quite hit those five star heights. Like I said, four stars. So we have a 3.75. Oh, backwards 3.75 a 4 and a 4 so not terrible like none of them were like a 1 or a 2 star but I think now out of the six books that I've predicted across my two like five star TPR predictions videos I think out of the six books one of them has been a five star I think because I think one of them in the last video was a five star so not a huge success rate but not terrible um, because I think that 3.75 is the lowest that I've rated any of them. So I do have a pretty good idea of the types of books that I enjoy. But none of the ones, well, one of, has quite hit those heights for me. So that's really it. I guess I've told you whether they were 5,000 or not, what I thought of them. I am going to be doing another 5-star TPR predictions coming up soon. I don't know when, in the next like couple of weeks, most likely. I haven't figured out what those TBR predictions are going to be yet so I'm looking for that is part basically my favorite part is like looking at my TBR and going okay what do I think is going to be five stars so I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you've read any of these books what your thoughts were on them were they five star books for you I would love to know or just any five star TBR predictions that you have or do you have a group of classics that you're just like really pumped to read I definitely do and I think I'm actually going to be getting to I, there's mainly two others but it is like my most hyped classics that I'm like in my own mind. And I think I'm going to be getting to both of them like in the next like, like six months to a year, like the latest. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, that was a little side tangent. I would love to chat in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye guys.